Hello my lovelies, my name is Leah. I'm a freelance illustrator and small business owner. Today I have a pretty big task that I've been putting off for a while. I need to update some inventory as well as get some products ready for a market that's coming up next month. It's gonna be a pretty chill video, so just come along with me as I sip on some tea and start counting. For those of you who don't know, I run a small business on Etsy since 2019. However, this is the first year that I've really taken it seriously and started um, posting more products. And with Mother's Day coming up, I recently sold quite a few cards in person, um, just to friends and family and people reaching out on my Instagram. So I have to go into my Etsy store and update uh, some inventory for these cards and a few of my sticker sheets. So I'm going to start my morning doing that because it's a less intimidating task and then we're going to move on to the larger inventory task. Once I finish counting all my stickers, I enter the quantities in Etsy and I move on to my second task. I have to get together a box of products that will be sold at a farmer's market throughout the summer. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend the farmer's market because it's in another province, but I'm thankful that my mother-in-law is going to be hosting the table for me. The market's going to be held in Lewisburg, Cape Breton, which is a small fishing village on the east coast. I want to limit the products I send based off of what I know will sell, which will definitely be all of my Oceanside uh, bookmarks and postcards, anything Cape Breton themed or East Coast themed. I know that the population there and the tourism population are definitely going to be more geared towards these products, but I do also end up sending a few of my better sellers. Um, my greeting cards, like my thank you cards and my birthday cards, just because you never know, a local may be looking for something specific. So I do throw in those as well. Once I finally gathered all of my products together, I start by opening my inventory file and I start filling out all of the products that I'm going to be sending back to Cape Breton and the amount as well as the retail price. Thankfully I've done this before so I already have a sheet made and that way it's just a matter of entering the blanks.
So this is all of the paper products that I will be sending back to Cape Breton for the market. I, after I took this video, I realized that I forgot that I need to pack up my stickers. So I got together the sticker sheets as well as all of my die cuts that I'll be sending. They don't typically sell as well at these small farmer's markets. So I'm not sending too many of each, just three of each die cut. And then I think I did five of each of the sticker sheets. I enter the stickers that I'm going to be selling at the market and then I go on to print the file. Since I'm going to be delivering this box myself, I'm not too worried on packaging. If I was sending it through the mail, of course I would make sure that everything was well secured in case the box was bumped around a bit but I'm going to be handling it the whole way, so I'm going to be sure to handle it with care. So all of my stickers go in an envelope. I tie all of my loose cards and postcards together with loose pieces of paper, and I finish off by adding everything to the box and adding some scrap paper and uh, a few pieces of tissue paper. As we come up on the end of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone's support so far. I think we're on video number three, and I just want to say that it has been an amazing journey so far with you guys, and I appreciate every comment, every subscription, every like. Um, I just hope that I continue to make interesting videos for you guys that you enjoy, and if you have any suggestions, please feel free to reach out. And until next time, my lovelies, bye-bye!